Welcome back to your favorite diesel channel, Gage Diesel. So guys, we're back in the shop today. We're done with the bogging for a minute and uh, we haven't figured out what's going on with Ron Burgundy yet. We will get back to that shortly after this video. Um, we're not sure if we got a loose rocker arm, a broken rocker arm, a broken valve. We, we don't know. Something's going on, on the top end, we're pretty sure. Crossing my fingers, hopefully it's something simple. Maybe just a rocker arm came loose. We did not go back and retorque the rocker arm before we took it out. We didn't really run it that much. And then we just basically took it out. So we figured that'd be a good shakedown run. And, you know, typical me, I kind of like to floor it and really test things and see what it can do. So uh, either way, we are back onto our LBZ Duramax drag truck build. Justin's getting it cleaned out right now from our trip to Indianapolis at the Ultimate Callout Challenge. And uh, guys, we are getting ready to put this thing on a diet. We're about to lose some weight here. So uh, we're going to pull the bed off. We're going to pull some fenders off. We're going to pull um, the dash apart on it. Basically, just everything's coming apart. And we are going to lighten this thing up. And then also, while it's apart and the bed and everything's off, we're going to take it over our boy Ty, have him fab up the cage on it, and finish a true, uh, I think it's a 25-6 cert cage in it because we are going to go for broke on this thing and start pulling some fast times. So I don't want to have a cage slowing us down for that. So um, that's basically where we're at, guys. If you're getting this thing tore apart today, check it out. The bed's coming off. We're going to gut the bed sides. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff to it. So for now, enjoy this. Justin going to start tearing this thing apart and uh, get back to Ron Burgundy right after this. All right. So we got the bed off this thing. You can see it's still pretty orange back here we're talking about possibly removing this cross member we're obviously gonna pull the fuel tank out of it I took the trans cooler out of the bed and I just stuck it on there for now where we can still move the truck the fast is still zip tied on there so we can move the truck um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bed get some saw horses flip it upside down on some saw horses get the bed ready to come apart I've got some drill some spot welds I need to drill out on both tops of the bed rails and then obviously down the front of them there's a bunch of spot welds that need to be drilled out so once I get it up on some saw horses I'm gonna move this truck out of here I kind of just pulled the bed off it I didn't figure there was really too much of a reason to film that that's that's pretty cut and dry um, but so we're gonna do that first and then we're talking about trying to get a different rear end for it the 2500 gas motor trucks have a lot lighter rear end in them it saves about 200 pounds they said and then we're debating on what we're going to do about pulling leaf springs off four linking it we're probably going to leave the frame rails like they are for right now we're not gonna uh back half the truck yet justin doesn't want to do it yet so we're going to try to four link it on the factory frame i don't see why we can't there's plenty of spots it looks like that they can go in there um, but we're just going to start cutting weight off the back of it Try to get the back of it lightened up and then we'll start moving moving to the front of it into the cab got to pull the dash out i'll probably record some of that because uh it's a little more extensive of a deal to get in there and get the dash out of it and we'll pull the uh, floor mat back out of it pull the seats back out of it for now and get it to tie get them to put the cage in it so a lot of that stuff justin's already said but um so that's where we're at for now i got the bed off it we're gonna get the truck moved out of here, get the bed put back in here, get it skinned where I've got just the bed sides. I knocked a little bit of that den out right there. I know it doesn't look like it, but right there, I, I got some of the crease that was in it out. So now the rest of it, I think will pretty much just pop out, but I wanna get the bed side off before I do it. I don't think there's any reason to try to work up in there where I can barely get my hands. So that's where we're at for now. All right, so what I've got here as I put this blue tape on here, I'm pretty much going to run down that line, and that's my line I'm going to use to cut the front side of the bed off. I drilled these two, I drilled these two holes right here. Those were spot welds, so I drilled those out. So once I get this cut off, we've got to cut up underneath the fenders, and we've got to cut along the top of the bed rails. But we'll start with this. What I want to do back here is I want to cut along here, right here, and I want to cut up this side of the panel right there. 
and then once we get up there then i'll run along the top edge of the bed cut that but i want to leave this post right here for the tailgate and for the tail lights so i don't know what we're going to encounter in there i know there's some support behind there but we're going to start cutting on it and i'm going to start cutting right here cut this up cut it across here and then i'll probably have to take a sawzall or maybe even have to take plasma cutter or the torch and get in there may have to cut a hole over here i don't know but you guys keep an eye on it make sure i'm doing it right and uh remember always watch for fire let me know if you see any fire All right, that's both bed sides off the bed. We've got this one flipped up now. I was talking to Justin, he doesn't know if he wants to keep this. So I may have to cut all this stuff off. I would like to keep this part of it where we still got the tailgate latches, but we're not sure if we're gonna put tailgate back on that way or not. So may not need it. And then this inner fender part, I've got to pull all these clips out, take the plastic fender off it and then I gotta go through it and there's some spot welds in here. I gotta drill those out to get that off. And then I'll take a grinder and clean up that front edge and clean up that top edge on both of them to where they're both nice and clean. I don't have any sharp spots or anything like that. I already took the fender off that one because before I pulled the bedside off, I wanted to get some of that dent out. You can see I got some of this part of it right here out. Um, had a big crease in it. So now that I've got it off, I'll go ahead and work the rest of that dent, the, the smaller part of the dent, which is the larger part of the dent, but it's not as creased. It's not creased as bad. So I'll try to work on getting some of that out, get that bedside as straight as I can. But that's where we're at for now. So we'll start getting this thing cleaned up and go from there. All right. So we got both the bed skins off. You guys saw me do that. I have completely skinned the inside of both of these bed skins. Nothing really left to them. They're pretty much empty. I just hung them back on the truck where I had somewhere to put them. I got most of that den out of this side. It's pretty good now. There's still a hole there, but I'll have to weld that up and throw some paint on it. This is basically what we got left. You can see, there's pretty much nothing. So now, the next step take you guys over here I'm gonna pull the fenders off so the bumpers got to come off I pulled the grill out where I could access the bumper bolts and uh, the bumpers the fenders are gonna come off I'm gonna do the same thing to the fenders basically skin them I'm gonna start with this one I'm gonna pull the other one off but I'll show you guys uh, pulling the bumper and the fender off. That's it. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. I kind of like it. Get a good view on the motor there. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Probably not as aerodynamic, but you know, you gotta win some to lose some. So this is what we've got. We are pretty much gonna cut all the inside structure out of this that I can. These are the factory mounts for the back. So I'll probably have to build some new mounts. We're obviously, we're gonna skin the hood and pin it on with Zeus fasteners or whatever we decide to use, but all this material is going to come out the inside of the fender. It's just basically going to be outside skin. We are definitely on a weight loss program here. Well, that is the final product. I've got to clean it up. That's everything cut out of it. As you can see, there's not much left. I'm leaving this. I'm going to clean it up, but I'm going to leave this because these are the two top bolts for the fender. That 
bolt. That bolt hole down there is the other front top bolt for the fender. We got a bottom bolt for the fender right here. And then that little tab is only about a half an inch away from the core support. So I'll just make a little L bracket to bolt to that and that'll be a bottom bolt for the fender. I ain't gotta be more than enough. Um, we definitely lost a bunch of weight right here. So I'm gonna leave that inside structure. Me and Justin talked about it. We think maybe that'll add a little bit of support to the center of the hood where it doesn't just get real floppy. We're gonna try it. I can take more out. I can't really add more back. I pretty much got it cut. I marked it out. I may recut it again. I'm gonna talk to Justin. It's it's still pretty rigid the way it is. And I don't want it just flopping around. So I may leave it that way. We'll see. But I do have it marked out. I figured I'd let Justin take a look at it and we'll go from there. So we get a couple things done and then we'll get on pulling the dash and the interior out. All right, so I got a few more bolts to pull out of the evaporator box up front. That thing should just fall out of here, so let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. I don't like to see the AC going away because that means there's probably going to be some hot days in the future. Riding around this old stallion, seeing the great country views. But, you know, you got to make sacrifices when you want to go fast. All right, so we got everything out. I zip tied a few of them wires up there. Just clean it up a little bit, put the gauge cluster back in it. And just kind of vacuumed everything out. So now, the interior, I think, is as far as we're going to go, at least for now. So we'll see what the next step is and go from there. All right, guys, so Justin has been busting his butt back here on this work of art. So, you feeling pretty good about this? Oh, yeah. So he's gutted just about everything you can gut. Oh, yeah, he riveted, yeah, because the hood was a little flimsy. So, basically, he cut and lightened just about everything that we could. We're going to have a way that the hood mounts. We'll put some nice, uh, um, what do you call those things? Uh, Zeus fasteners, yes, we'll get some. Zeus fasteners or something like that on here. But the hood now, I think the whole hood now weighs like probably 10 pounds, where before it weighed like 30. And then we got the bed off, obviously, and he has stripped the bed, cut the bed sides off. They're there. He's going to skin the tailgate. He hasn't done that yet. Yeah, we're not exactly sure what we're gonna do with that. We're not yet. sure. We yeah. wanna have a tailgate on it. Now inside, the dash is completely gone. What we're gonna do is we basically gutted all this because now we actually have to put a full on cage in this thing. We have to do more than just the roll bar. So now that he's done that, and we're gonna figure out steering column and that kind of stuff. But for now, we're gonna do that and build a custom like aluminum dash bezel that goes across, fill in all the holes on the firewall, no more air conditioning. And then we got our secret weapon up here. We're gonna get a fiberglass front bumper for it. And also on top of that, Justin has gutted fenders. I mean, we shaved weight every which way we could, where we could. And then we got a couple small things that we're gonna do. AC compressors coming off. Um, we're gonna put a delete kit on there. And then this fender's still gonna come off and be stripped. So, you know, every five, 10 pounds adds up. I mean, we probably shave 50 to 100 pounds of just bull, bull crap, you know, metal on there. I mean, it's- we basically took a eight foot truck bed Full of parts That's, and yeah, scratch. we'll show you everything that we took off or he took off. And guys, we were talking about back halfing it, but I think what we're going to actually end up doing is four linking it and leaving the frame as is because we have something we think we're going to do. I don't think it's necessary to back half it yet. So we'll go back here. He already shaved all the bedsides off, as you guys saw. 
So our bedsides and everything are just gonna go back on there. But everything here in this bed is what came out of the truck and is not going back in it. So we don't need any of this stuff. None of this stuff's going back in. Our, no, our goal is to get it below that 5,000 pound mark with me in it. And then fuel tank's coming out. We're gonna put a fuel cell in it. We're doing a different rear end on it. We got a lot of stuff to do. So guys, we going racing soon. This thing is gonna be a ripper. They say every 100 pounds a 10th. So we should gain almost a second and a half just from shaving the weight that we did. And then we're gonna add like three or 400, maybe 500 more horsepower than what we had. So should be a ripper. Anyways, guys, there you go. Stripped the Duramax part, got it race ready. And he's gonna obviously, we'll fit the hood on there, figure that stuff out. And then when we get to the rear end, figure out what we're gonna do here, we'll bring you guys back on board for this. But for now, we're gonna send this thing over to Ty. And my boy Ty is gonna be getting the cage all fabbed up on it and get her set up and ready to go. So thank you again, guys, for watching the Jay Cecil channel. We will see you next time.